We can actually see part of the Presidio, Brian, from our camera's view that we've got on the top of the sales force. It's focused primarily on the Marin Headlands, another great place to go hiking. Uh, but you can kind of pick out just the edge there, out there towards maybe past the Palace of Fine Arts, out over towards Christie Field. You see the beach there, Golden Gate Bridge, and the promontory way out there in the distance. That's Point Reyes. So we've got a great view from this camera. Notice the high clouds here. Those are pretty harmless. There have been a lot of high clouds today. There are going to be a lot more mid-level clouds tomorrow morning that are really going to do a number on the morning lows for tomorrow. It's going to stay pretty warm for the morning for tomorrow. I'll show you that in a second. More high clouds over the Tri-Valley. And the uh, current numbers right now are in the upper 50s for most places. It's 58 in Oakland, 59 in Livermore, 58 in the city. Look at the morning lows. What's missing on here? Nobody's got to go into the 30s. And if somebody was going to go into the 30s, Santa Rosa, that'd be you. But you don't have to do it. 48 for the morning low tomorrow. Coldest number I have on here is Napa at 43. Compared to the last four months of coming through winter into early spring, that's weird. But it's important because it's part of the transition. The reason why we're going to be able to stay out of the 30s tomorrow is because, once again, in the overnight hours... This deck of mid-level grayness is just going to envelop the entire Bay Area. You've no doubt noticed it for the last two mornings if you've been out and about. We start out gray everywhere. And then, as it does every time, it melts back to the coast by the time we get to the late morning. And you get a beautiful day like we had today. And that's what tomorrow will be like, too. Once we burn off the clouds by about 10 in the morning at the latest, it's sunny. And these will be the numbers. Back up into the mid and upper 60s. South Bay, you're going to go to 67 in Santa Clara. Redwood City goes to 63. Uh, numbers over here for inland Contra Costa and Alameda counties are for pretty similar to that. Concord will go to the upper 60s. And it, upper 50s right near the gate. And uh, the closer you are to the water, the cooler you'll be tomorrow. So Mendocino, that does not include you. You'll be near 70, 68 degrees. Look how pretty this storm is right off the coast. Started watching this two days ago. We will continue to be able to see this for the next week. It's one of those cutoff lows. It looks really cool when you look at it on the water vapor. But let's put it into the future cast. Watch what happens to all that rain out there. Tantalizingly close. We could really use it. And that storm is not going to budge. It's going to be stuck out there not only through Wednesday of this week, but even if we go into the long-range forecast. So the resolution's not as good because I'm going to play this out for a week and a half. Still there. Still going. That's next weekend. And then it just kind of disappears by the time we get to the middle of April. Meantime, there are a couple of weak systems that did try to get into Northern California, and they're just not going to be able to get far enough south. So that was a very long way of saying it's not going to rain. And April, the chances for rain really go down anyway. But we're missing out on any hope that we would have had for that. Instead, there's a good-looking seven-day forecast for sunny and low to mid-70s for inland locations. We'll probably keep the flow of the marine layer coming in and burning off for about the next three days. And then perhaps by the end of next week, as high pressure starts to build in, even that might give us a little bit of a break. We're not that far away from May gray, though.